Hearts of Iron 4 Sacred War. This mod takes place in 1942, where everything went perfectly for Germany, Italy, and Japan. The Soviet Union is about to collapse, and can me, Jamarcus, a hoi for noob, save the Soviet Union. You can see this front line is looking very grim for us, but I am ready to fight for the triumphs of communism. The Sacred War began. The Red Army suffered a huge defeat in the first months of the war. The Germans began to fire artillery on the Kremlin. <gasps> Damn, Stalingrad is completely destroyed. Ooh, yeah, the Caucasus is not in a good spot. And then Leningrad is sieged. Finland just broke through here. These guys are encircled. Oh, can it get any worse? Oh, no, Japan took Vladivostov, bro. The one advantage we have is we have a massive army. I'm not too scared of the Japanese. Their army is pretty pathetic. Now, what I am scared about is this German army down here. We're about to get encircled here. That would be terrible. So we got a standard infantry here. Not bad. I don't like this armored recon company. I'm going to get rid of that. We got, ah, this tank's kind of bad. And don't forget the horses. These are not bad army to work with. And we're not even that short. Oh, we're, we're short on supplies. Our first offensive is going to be clear out this pocket right here. If we can do that, we'll keep the Caucasus safe. Our rail line will be restored. And we can at least try to defend. What could go wrong? So we got Georgi Zukov's tank army. We're going to send on and down. So there's lots of Germans by Moscow, but I don't know. They're not really attacking. Yo! They give it. Look at this bonus Germany gets. Okay. Shit. Uh, are they going to attack now? No, we're going to survive. We're going to survive. Okay, they finally started attacking. Now, this is a weak spot right here. This is a weak spot. We have... Oh, our entire pocket here is done for, huh? We got to retreat. There's no other option. Oh, this is stressful. I don't want to lose... I don't want a big encirclement right away. Let's get out. Come on. You know, I low-key think we might need to just cancel our offensive. I was thinking about and just go to Moscow, man. I didn't realize how powerful these attacks would be. Man, if we hold all our big cities, we get crazy busts. But if we lose, we get absolutely destroyed. The number one priority is escaping this pocket right here, man. Oh, no. That's the last. Dude, that happened so quick. Bro, you guys, your, life's your life depends on it. Get out now. Oh, can you guys get out? Oh, my goodness, bro. Look at those supplies. <gasps> what am I supposed to do? I'm used to just playing vanilla germany this is not my cup of tea so the japanese attacked in the far east and we couldn't do a counteroffensive like irl because the japanese attacked oh please can we break through please oh and we need to hold this city so bad too i know that for a fact oh the one good thing is the germans have terrible supplies down here terrible supplies oh and they got some gaps yeah, let's exploit these gaps right now right now we have to exploit these gaps like, let's take some counter-offensive measures. That's all we can do. And they got some more gaps here. Oh, I think that pocket really is done for, though. I think it's done for, guys. Stalin was speaking to us. And he said, we're going to defeat these German hordes, too. That sounds kind of like the W word, but... Yeah, ura! You know what? These guys just have to escape. These guys have to escape. We just got to withdraw the entire southern part of the Red Army. All right. Well, these guys, I wish them the best of luck. Oh, man, bro. We have no org whatsoever. Oh, our air force is just getting smoked. Do we? How much AA do we even have? Ah, no supplies, dude. Yeah, we're sabotaging everything. Everything's getting sabotaged. Oh, all oh, so many mills we're gonna lose though. But I have, I don't think I have a choice, do I? There's no point even having an air force. We're just getting destroyed. We just need guns, man. We just need guns. Oh, bro, this is a novel right here. This is a novel. But I'll read it and sum it up to you guys in a minute. So basically, Stalin says he's mad that we're getting destroyed by the Germans, which is fair. So basically, it's two generals. One who wants to have a mechanized army, which is Marshal Rokosovsky, and Marshal Zukov says we should have a guerrilla war because we don't have factories. So who's right? I'll be honest. I don't think, especially since we just came out the Caucasus, we have no oil. We need to go with Zukov. We, we won't have tanks. We're not having tanks. Oh, so this lets us get some more people and makes our infantry better. Okay, we'll do it. We'll do it. Yeah, we just, ah, oh, this is tough. We have no oil. We got to just rely on the infantry and just hope for the best, man. We got to reduce the number of tanks we're making by a lot. And then Moscow, we have our entire tank army here. Best of the best. We can't, Moscow can't fall. If it falls, we're done. I mean, the city, look at all this industry. I mean, we're just done. Now, we are struggling up here, though. Ooh, man, this is a tough spot to be in. <gasps> Ooh, and Leningrad. Oh, Leningrad, we can't, Leningrad going is not, can't happen. It just can't. We're defending that shit to the end. We're seeing some progress here, dude. We can do something. Ugh. Man. Oh, no! We lost. Oh, no, bro. 
I wasn't paying attention. Do we have forts? We got forts at least. We do have forts. Oh, we've already lost 400k, guys. What? All right, let's go. Female Soviet snipers. I'm straight up thinking about just ditching tanks altogether. Like, do we really need these things right now? We got to at least ditch light tanks. Medium tanks could come in handy, I'll be honest, but we got to ditch those. Oh, this guy's going to help, though, because we're getting destroyed by cast. We can at least reduce the cast from the Germans. Damn, so all these campaigns, guys, basically the Allies just got destroyed so far. And they also did crazy at Pearl Harbor, too. For organization purposes, I'm putting all the northern divisions on a front line in one big army. Just for now, so I can make sure I stay organized. Because that's the issue, man. If you don't have front lines, the enemy just keeps pushing. They split you up, and then you're screwed. We're going to give this guy defensive doctrine. 30% entrenchments, crazy. And I think we'll give him an ambusher, too, because we really got to defend. And then we're going to put the central army here, because we need to focus defense right now. I think Leningrad's gone, I'll be honest. That is such a bummer, though. Oh, bro, look at all those mills. Man. No. Rip Leningrad, bro. Oh, this is going to be nice. Less supply consumption, less width, better defense. Oh, bro, 1 million casualties already? Oh, no. We're just getting, oh, we're getting really pushed back in the north as our biggest setbacks. I'm going to put this at four speed, man. There's not much to do now. We just got to wait, man. All these troops are bottlenecked up here. All right, now they just need to spread out. They need to spread out. We can lose all this. All this is just desert. There's nothing. Nothing here. We got to keep the central line, though, going. This desert, like, is irrelevant. Finally, we, we held Moscow, though. We held Moscow. The German war machine is halted at the heart of the country. And this is huge right here. It gives our infantry heart attack and piercing. Makes our infantry actually have a chance. We are slowly building our stockpile of guns, too. 70 days, and we should be able to start recruiting new troops. I'm going to need a new division that is just basic. No logistics company. Just simple, simple, simple. All right, this is good. It's going to make our army even better. Oh, uh, this matters now. That matters. We got to hold this thing. No, hold it. There. That is exactly what I'm looking for. No! <sighs> well, it is what it is. We have to hold on to Moscow literally for dear life. If we lose Moscow, I mean, that's just that's just an L. I'm taking the L if we, if we lose Moscow, man. Hold on to it, please. Por favor. Something is finally happening. Okay, America, let's go. Let's go. If we could just divert some troops, just a few troops. If you could just divert a few troops, dude. I, that would just be so amazing. Oh, I need this one. Road of life. My supplies will be so much better. Yo, we can get lend -lease? This might save us. Yes, I need infantry and artillery trucks. Takes air. I need it all, man. I need it all. Uh, Moscow! No! Hold! For dear life, please. Man, we're just getting rolled, though. What can you even do? What the frick? No, oh, don't lose this tile, dude. They're getting closer and closer to the city itself. We need this. Look how many people we get. We get so much manpower, it is absurd. We gotta be that focused. We need manpower, man. A lot of people are dying. Oh, Moscow! 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 Okay. I don't even know what that sound was. She's gone. She's gone. She's gone. Retreat. We don't even know how bad that is. You don't even know how ridiculously bad this is. Alright, we do have 900k fresh troops. That's one good thing to come out of this. Oh. Well, I was planning an offensive. What? <laughs> Calm down, dude. Oh. Fuck. If this army escaped, I was gonna offense. Uh. Paradox Interactive, why do you do this to me? <laughs> Alright, we're gonna launch an offensive to this thing right here. Penza, there's a supply hub. Let's just see what happens, man. I'm just gonna click the button. Like, the only thing we got going for us is we got tons and tons of new troops out, so... Oh, there's, there's, there's hope, dude. If we take this supply hub, we at least can do something. It, it's like an offensive that lets us make more offensive. Oh, just like that, right through that. No, can these guys not die? I mean, I get it's winter, so it's impossible to offense this, but like, we're Russians. We should be able to, we should be able to handle that. We just gotta be persistent. Three, two, one. I know it's muddy troops. Just push through. I know it's freaking muddy, but like, get these Germans out of here. Yes. Yes. Recapture Stalingrad? We could try, man, but I don't think I could take back Stalingrad yet. I'm getting kind of shat on. Um, but I think I can make a solid offensive up north. That's what I'm confident I can do. Damn, dude. They, that We went so... F it just happens before you know it. You're in Moscow fighting for that, and then boom. You know what I mean? Oh, that hurts. <clears throat> Our little offensive right here. If we could surprise attack on Moscow, that'd be crazy. 
These guys right here, these German troops have zero so What? That was not meant to happen. Holy cow. Come on, we can correct this. This this is very correctable. Yes, it is. There we go. Nice. Nice. We actually got a slight breakthrough right here. <clears throat> let's go, let's go. We actually can pull off a Moscow offensive, I think. I think it's possible. Yo, we could actually get our own infantry encirclement. That'd be crazy right now. Let's do this shit. Infantry encirclement, come on. Yo, that's a nice, that's a nice uh, lemon list right there. Oh, shit. Honestly, right now, we just gotta hold what we got. We just need to chill out, hope for the allies to open another front, and we can go from there. We got a fat army, we just gotta hold up. Yeah, we can let the push here. You, like, Germans, you can take all the frozen wasteland you want. I don't care. So I'm trying to get a little offensive here. <clears throat> We can take this Penza city in Saratov, right? With a little pincer. So we take these two cities, boom. We have a big bulge where my crosshair is. Then we can sweep south towards Stalingrad and circle. They have a fat army here that has zero, all this attrition and shit. I'm just letting them, like, they can keep pushing into this desert. No man's land. And then we will cut you off. And there's nothing here to lose. I mean, just, they can literally go all the way, like, down here. Like, I don't care. If we're going to try to carry out an offensive. It's got to be, like, probably around now. Once these dudes arrive to their front, we're doing it. All right, we're doing it. We're gonna do it micro though. We gotta micro this shit. I can't. I'm not trusting the battle plans. We really got dialed. And I tried doing battle plans. I just wasted so many casualties. All right, we pushed. We pushed up here too. We gotta be moving kind of fast. We gotta be moving. You see, I, I gotta put that on three speed. Man, these hard games. You can't just rock five speed and like micro. Oh, you know, on five speed. You know, it doesn't happen. You really gotta take your time and dial in. Yes, exactly. These tanks are actually working. Let's go. Let's go. This is exactly what I'm looking for. And now there's tons. These guys have no supplies. They're dipping too, trying to like go help their friends out down there. Well, guess what? We're pinning you guys down. We're doing some pinning. Yo, we're almost at the supply hub though. Come on. We got this, dude. Like troops, comrades. Don't give up, comrades. Not now. Now is not the time. Yes. Keep going, comrades. Oh, we're getting obliterated by Casp. But comrades, we do not care if there's bombs falling from the sky or not. Okay. We, we, we keep going. Oh, look, I see this sneaky little guy. Look, sneaky. Boom. Get away. Comrades, we are so close. Ha! Ah, they have three divisions out there. We'll still get it. We're still going to get it. Come on. We made it so far already. Oh, and the reinforcements just keep on coming. No. Oh, we're taking fat casualties. We really are. Look, it's empty. Yo, it's empty. Horsies. Get the horsey divisions down. The gun. Come on, horsies. Yeah, I got cavalry because uh, tanks aren't going to work right now. Oh, no. We can still pinch him. Oh, oh man, it's not every day you have to fight this hard for one freaking supply hub, but today's that kind of day. Yes, we got something, and now we can attack the supply. No, do not reinforce. Look, this guy's gonna try to reinforce that guy. We gotta take him out. Yes, we took him out. Now we can destroy this one. Take it. Don't, please, this is it, right? Surely, there's no. Yes, let's go. And I'm pumped, but we got it. We got the freaking supply hub. Let's go. First victory, it seems, of this entire game. Okay, nice. Nice. Oh, the ally Operation Torch is getting destroyed. What? Come on, Americans. Our offensive number two is going to go underway. I'm going to do it. I think we can do it. We're going to go for this supply hub right here. Now, as you can see, this is a big one. Because if this is taken, then we can take off the this supply up here. And these guys, like, they won't actually be encircled, but they'll, like, be basically encircled. Because they won't have any supplies. And the Germans are probably thinking, if they had a brain, Oh, Jamarcus and the Russians, they're going to Moscow to get Moscow back. Psych. We're going to Stalingrad, and we're taking your oil. Yes. Good, good, good. Doing good, comrades. Death to the invaders. More resistance. Yo, our cavalry's smoking him. We're smoking him. We got that supply up. Guaranteed. It's locked. It's locked in. Oh, shit, the supply hub's there. Whatever, that works too, though. Look, we're to swing under this guy. Boom. Do a little underswing. Undercut them to the supply hub. See, the Germans are powerful. I'll give them that, but they're overextended into the motherland. It's cold. They don't know how to fight in the cold. They don't know what to do. You see, persever perseverance right there, guys. I was, you probably saw, I was stressing earlier. I was worried about, th this is some positive, some positive gains right here. Did we get it? Ha, hoo, hoo, look. Yeah, we got it, guys. We got it. Just get a couple of tiles around it that we can slow down. I just really got to make sure it's safe, you know? And it's about to be winter, so we'll probably have to chill out soon. Oh, hey, look. We got a little encirclement right here, too. Oh, bro. How'd they, how'd they get the supply hub again? I don't understand that. Yeah, we're going to have to encircle it. We got no choice. We're going to be ruthless. We need that supply hub. It's life or death if we don't get that supply hub. It really is. How else will we transport our borscht to the front line? And thank you, Mr. Roosevelt. I appreciate it, my dear friend. Yo, this is OP. We get 500 airplanes, man. British and Americans are generous, aren't they? Oh, never mind. This shit plan. 
Yeah, we do got these tanks, but they suck. So we're sticking with horses for right now. If I could get like a big bulge right here down to Moscow across this rail line, I'd be the happiest, happiest man alive. Ooh, should we do this for our winter offensive? I'm doing it. Go big or go home, guys. Go big or go home. Oh, yeah. Okay. That's a start. That's a start to our offensive. And then we got to attack this tile too. Four-way attack right here. Because we need this for the supply line. That's a must. Oh, come on. If we can't get this one, the offensive might as well just be over. All right. We got a new super cavalry division right here. A lot more horses. A lot more anti-tank. Honestly, without these deliveries right here, I would not be able to win. We just ordered 500 planes for ADPP and is worth. Oh, this one gives 10% attack on core. We're going to need that. Wow. FTR is generous today. Generous. As you can see, we're amassing for our southern offensive. So about to get that rolling. We have a big encirclement here. This is a big one. I don't know if the AI is going to see it coming, but we're coming to Stalingrad. We're going to split the front in half. Uh, there's still mud. Damn. Well, I mean, we all know Canadians are nice, but this is real nice. All right, we're going to put these guys on interception and we're going to start our offensive. Oh, look at that. We're cooking. We're cooking. If we could get that supply hub right here, that'd be great. Damn, they have no supplies. We're kind of rolling them. Hey, supplies. That's everything and more, man. It's supplies. Real life and Hoi 4. Man, the cavalry goes crazy. Whoa. Now, you see, they think we're going to Moscow. Those Germans think we're going to Moscow, huh? For the pride. Well, little do they know where we're actually going. All right, nice. Nice. Oh, look, another encirclement. Hey, we're nuts with the encirclements right now. Come on, we gotta take this supply hub. It's the last one I really need. Big three prog is going into on that supply hub right there. Give us an extra combat with and oh Bulgaria, get out of there, Bulgarian division. Easy, easy peasy. Oh, um, we're getting smoked. Oh, 30 to How are we getting smoked so bad? We got those plates from Lend Leases. Were they just shitty hand-me-downs from the British or what? That must be what it was. We got the hand-me-downs. Well, calm down. Alright, that's enough. Here, I don't want to lose that. Oh, that's our supply hub, guys. I don't want to lose that. Oh, we got to build a railroad now to get this supply hub back. I mean, well, I'll, I'll do it. I'm down, but... Oh, I just built the railroad for that, homie. Get back on that tile. I don't want to lose it. Oh, bro. we lost. Oh, okay, good. We almost lost that tile. Holy, bro. Holy, that would have been bad. Oh, this is this is where the eyeballs start to hurt, guys. I don't know if you've ever do this. Play Hoyt's Hearts of Iron 4 late at night. Oh, my eyes are burning red. I, this infantry can get through. Yes! Let's go. I'm. Ex this is a challenge still. But I'm liking the progress. They're lacking so freaking hard you don't even realize. They're lacking so hard. No. No. You got to be joking. I had it. I had it in the bag. It was in the bag. Uh, we can crash down from here, though. We can so take this. I know we can do it. That's why I'm... Uh, fudge. Oh, I'm struggling right now. The eyeball's hurting. Oh, I'd circle bits. That's sad. If you haven't done so already, subscribe. Because I'm suffering right now. But it's for your guys' entertainment. I'd appreciate that sub. All right, just chillax. Just chillax. Just chillax. It's not the idealist position to be in. You know what? You know what? We're going to have to... This is the time to decrypt. Perfect timing. Let's decrypt him. Full-on offensive. Oh, we established the connection for like two seconds there. Okay, we established it again. We established it. We're winning here. We're crashing down from the north too. That's huge. This guy's doing nothing. Increase the combat width of this tile. There we go. Perfect. Yes. They crashed down from the north. That's what I like to see. We're overrunning them from the north too. Yes, now we get three progs of the city. Three progs. Boom. From each four. One, two, three, four. Yes, we get four prong attack, four different combat widths adding up. Yo, blight work. Light work, no reaction. Light work, no reaction. That also deserves a like. I mean, that's a like too. Not just a sub, that's a like. I mean, oof. you know I've been fighting for that tile for a minute. It's been a minute, but we did it. All right, but look, we're going to do a big direction change now though. We're going to swing south towards Stalingrad. We can do that now. We just go here, boom, start swinging south. And we'll have the supplies too, so it'll go crazy. Yo, we actually have guns now too. That's huge, that's huge. You know, we could begin this offensive, like, now, immediately. Whenever the troops are ready, we could just start going at it. It's a good time to go right now. Well, they're still not really the front's kind of bare. Oh, my goodness, bro. This is, this is the general. This is, like, the right dream for the Soviet general. Stalingrad is wide open. Go! Liberate Stalingrad for Comrade Stalin. We're doing it for Comrade Stalin. Oh, and the cavalry division's right here. 55 cavalry division. Let's go. Well, for Comrade Stalin. The generals will prove worthy. Yep, the liberation of Stalingrad. Yo, we almost have something here. We, om we almost, we almost have something. 
we almost have something. We're cooking up a five-star meal right now. Gordon Ramsay style. That, that's what's going on. Want to know what's going on? That's what's going on. This is a five-star rush. Welcome, welcome to Jamarcus Kitchen. Any questions? Any questions, anyone? Nope. Would you look at that? The Germans are in a pickle now, aren't they? Oh, that feels so good, bro. Hey, you, the lesson is never give up. You see already we're making some progress. We're not done yet. We're not done yet, but we're making some good progress. And y'all saw where I started. Oh, rest in peace. Rest in peace. Damn, this guy's a Vichy France division. You came from all the way over there. Unlucky, man. Hear me out. What if we continue our offensive? We got like a couple more months. We got a little bit more time. Yeah, their casualties are getting close to us, though. Hey, we had some big casualties for a while. The Germans had some, they had some power, but we are turning the shit around. And America, once again, coming in clutch. Thank you, America. FDR is a homie. Well, unfortunately, we can't do anything for literally seven months. So, I'm gonna prepare, though. I got a big offensive once again coming up. All right, we're reorganizing our front, making a nice front line here. All right, so look, down here, there's actually no snow and mud. So, it's like we can push now. So this will be our perfect winter offensive. There's no snow here. It's nice and like normal weather, not Siberia. Yo, Iran just became communist for free. Okay, so we don't even have to invade. Perfect. Yo, wait, look, this is our sneak attack army right here. This could be an extremely easy encirclement right here. Because these divisions are just so weak, that could be easy. Make our push to Moscow even easier. Wait, they're selling, they're selling, they're selling, they're selling. Because once we cross this river, I feel like it's game over. We can just run down to the supply hub right here. Our mountaineers are coming close. They're coming to cook. The mountaineers, this is where they cook. and In the mountains, given their name. Oh, if we could connect the front lines, that would be crazy. We finally got a real tank division going for us. Roast it in the comments below. Here's the stats. I'm not good at making divisions. If this is solid, let me know. If it's trash, let me know. All right, we're launching our offensive. We're going to cut the caucuses off from, like, the rest of, yeah. Should be great. Boom. Boom. Just send it. I'm doing this at four speed though. I want this shit to happen fast. Give Stalingrad a little more room to breathe too would be nice. Yo, let's go. 13 divisions encircled? Yo, we're just melting them though. They're just falling apart. Yo, they left Rostov open. Okay, kind of an L. All right, we're strategically redeploying our offensive to right here. We're gonna attack Rostov from the top so we don't have to cross the river to get there. I like the strategic redeployment. We gotta act quick though. So like the strategic redeployment offensive has to start ASAP, as in right now. As in we're going. As in, buckle up, buttercup, we're going. I don't know if you guys ever watched South Park, but buckle up, buckaroo. Yeah, you have to watch South Park to get that. Yes, our offensive is working. We're pushing through. It's a little more costly than I would have liked, but I can't complain. It's doing what, doing what, doing what I wanted to. No, we just got pushed back. Come on, I don't care how many of you die, because I'm a Soviet mentality. Yeah, we've taken a few casualties, but... Oh, they actually took more casualties than us now. That's crazy. Come on, there's not many, there's not that many of the Germans, but ah, the supplies, man. Supplies is everything in this freaking game, isn't it? Oh, I think we could uh, finish that pocket up, huh? Think we could do it. Oh, hey, we did it. We got the little encirclement. All right, then we'll finish him off. Oh, Mr. Roosevelt, how kind. Yo, can we finally smoke the Germans or are our planes just that bad? They might just be that bad, it's possible. All right, full out offensive to Lipetsk. Our caucus's offensive was destroyed, so I'm just going to pierce to this supply hub right here, and I will be a happy man. There we go. Much better, smaller offensive. That caucus's one was so ambitious because I was trying to overstretch my supply lines, and just like real life, overstretching your supply lines is a bad idea. All right, we're taking the supply hub and the city right here. Our air force is getting smacked real hard. Oh, what? I think we could actually do it. It's very possible. The long-awaited Moscow offensive might be happening. I got to Oh, look. We got to clean up these pockets real quick. Get that shit taken care of. All right. We'll get that in a few minutes. All right. We got to go with the offensive. We're running out of time. We got maybe till October and then the snow. It's coming in. You can't attack for a whole nother year. Welcome to Russia. Despite literally getting destroyed by casts, we're just better. We're just better in every way. They have 50 casts against us. Are we scared of any of this? Nah. Nah. Are we still pushing? Yes. Yes, we are. Hurra! Honestly, I think I could just right-click Moscow, and so, so one of our armies is going to take it. It's These guys are screwed. They're holding okay down here, but yeah, I've given them orders. Just walk to Moscow. I don't care if you get encircled or any of that. Walk to Moscow, comrades. Walk to Moscow, comrades. I don't care how many German invaders stand in the way. You see, we're getting bombed the shit out of it. We don't care. That's how OP so Russians are, just as a people. They're just OP to have as soldiers. Come on, Moscow by the end of this year. No exceptions. In no world does Moscow not get captured by the end of the year. 
My eyes hurt. I didn't get. I didn't, I'm not doing this just to not take Moscow. I've been sitting here a few several hours now, not to not take Moscow. It was so fucking close. Oh, we, no, no, we're getting pushed back. We're getting kind of pushed. You know what? We're gonna push here and have a southern flank to Moscow. You see southern flank to Moscow. Come on, we hit that flank. No, with the spots. We're so close. Comrades, we do not quit. I don't care if it becomes winter. We will not stop. Moscow. We're going to go for the under of Moscow. And then Moscow itself only has one defender. You see, these guys are brave. They're going forward. They don't care if they're encircled or not. They go forward. If the Moscow troops... If you could... Oh! Where's my takey poos? Ho, 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 Georgi Zukov. I have a little treat for you. You see, he's probably... This tank commander, he's ready for these tanks. They're, they're, they're fire. Oh, the casualties we are taking must be insane, but I don't care. Oh, take this. Come on. This is the most important battle. If we go right here, then it's over. Wait, is that empty? So we got a prong here. We're pronging this little thing right here, this tile. Then we can get to Moscow. We will not stop relenting. I don't care if you have no ore. Keep relenting. Oh, it's open. It's open. We got to get in. Second, third battle of Moscow here. Third battle of Moscow. Get in. We're, uh, oh, no. We pinned these guys down. Pin. Pin! Stay! Stay. Stay again. I'm more pin. I don't care if you have no organ of time. Pin! Do something useful! No! We had it! This is, we need this tile right here. Death to the invaders! And for the motherland. We need more breakthrough. Again! Strike this tile! I don't care if you're tired, troops. And then we take this. Because Moscow has too many troops right now. Yes! We almost have this little spot right here. We can just send it to Moscow. Yes! We kind of have to surround Moscow. All right, northern offensive right here. Start surrounding Moscow. The Germans think the offensive is going to stop because it's winter? No. Yes, we're taking this guy. Yes, we're surrounding Moscow. All right, we keep going. We keep going. <sighs> I don't think I can. Oh, I need to blink. Let's blink a few times. My eyes are fucking dead. Great commander, Joseph Stalin. Yes, he is. Dude, we have lost. I think we lost like almost all our tanks. Oh, we've lost 2,000 tanks. Our divisions are just fried, man. They're just the tanks are getting. They're in the frozen wastelands of Moscow right now. Oh my god, their cast is just too much. Attack Moscow from all sides. We do not care. If it's very cold, snowing, and more snow. The debuffs are crazy, but we do not care. Hordes, hordes and hordes of Russians right now are approaching Moscow. And they will. They're still not surrounding, but they will soon. Their fate is coming, comrades. Their fate is coming. See, I'm really getting into the roleplay right now because... I'm telling you, playing hard for you for for extended periods of time makes you it makes you makes you different. There's only one division here. We can surround Moscow by another side. Multiple sides would be so much better. Yes, we get the undercut of Moscow. Ah, just that guy. Yes, closer. We get this one and we undercut. We right underneath Moscow. If we just don't stop attacking ever, they will eventually fold. Even if a billion of us die, we have more men. Ban. Yes, take it. Erwin Rommel, fuck you, Aaron! Erwin, not Aaron! Ah! Yes! <sighs> Huge. Fantastic. Comrades, this is Moscow, not any other city. The capital of the motherland. This game started terribly, and we're fixing it. We're saving it. Yo, we got the Moscow airport. We got the Moscow airport. That's huge. That's huge. And we actually are doing cast damage now. We're the ones doing cast damage. Yes! Okay, okay, look, look, look. We're, we're gonna let them relax hold up for a second we hold up for a second and they're gonna disperse off this yep they're dispersing and then we're gonna pitch this guy right here and then these guys will undercut this so if they cut the then they can help with that slowly take it down on this tile too i know there's a few debuffs like our attacks are have but can a man not take this tile so we're but we're in the same plan persist the plan persists oh 129 cast they have so much <gasps> yes Ura! let's go Let's go, comrades. You, you don't realize how, because, you know, I'm going to cut out the boring shit. I, this takes forever. Okay. <sighs> Got a same call. We didn't secure it, but this is huge. That's huge. Oh, look at all the mills we just got. Oh, my goodness. Let's get, some, get ourselves a little more space around Moscow, if you will. Oh, yes. Look at all the mills we got. Let's go. Doing an offensive, taking Bransk. George Zukov, we gave him some new tanks, you know. His army is stacked. It's loaded. It's ready to go on the counteroffensive, and we're melting them. Yes, you're doing 90 cast damage to me, but do I care? No, I don't. Russians don't care. Everyone else gets affected by the cast damage, except for us comrades. All right, just drive south down here, and then we're going to do our plan from before. 
again. Go to Rostov, Karkov, Stalino, Rostov, boom. Offensive 2 seems to be successful. Kursk Offensive. Battle of Kursk, number 2. Alright, just beeline Karkov, everyone, everyone. Do it. Yes, sir. We entered Karkov! German army retreated back to Ukraine. Get your ass back there. Comrades, we will liberate the motherland! That might be a bad Russian accent. Don't make fun of me. I'm attempting to be funny and entertaining while torturing myself, so pardon me. Yeah, that's one thing I'm trying to do lately. I used to be trying to like all jokes. I'm trying to give you a little more of the gameplay a bit more, you know, tell you guys what I'm doing with my strategies. I want to do more like disaster saves too, because it's lame playing Germany in 1936 vanilla and just steamrolling everyone. This is fun. We're kind of smoking them now, but you know, for a while there, I really thought I was done. Like, I really didn't think I could do it. Oh, <gasps> damn, they nuked. Wultenbug? No way, bro. The Allies actually nuked. Damn, they're falling apart. We need to beat the Allies to German battle. Race to Berlin starting now. Oh my goodness, we're clearing out. We're about to take Rostov. This is just the satisfying part. We're just clearing them out. But we still don't. We can't just sit around and be lazy. But yeah, race to Berlin. The Allies should be d daying anytime soon. We have a couple choices. Start moving this way, or we could secure the Caucasus. All right, go, 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 go. Should be able to take this whole thing in a matter of days. It should be that easy. All right, look, just beeline there. All right, Zukov, go here. Take that port. We're chilling. All right, we got Crimea. We got Crimea. All right, offensive. Now, hey, offensive switch. Good thing tanks are fast. We can move real quick before a few more offenses before winter. Oh, there we go. Let's go. Here, final offensive before the rain. Uh, we're gonna take Odessa, secure the southern Ukraine, and uh, get, encircle encircle that little part of the army right there. Yep, it's about to get muddy. It's about to get muddy. Wait, what? Get that, give that shit back to me. All right, clearing out this part of Ukraine. Damn, we're melting them. All right. Hey, look, we're visiting Top G. Get it? We're in Romania, and also Romania is cool because they have oil. Yeah, take that, guys. I'm taking your oil. Get fucked. Yep, taking back Crimea. W's, W's. And by the way, should I live stream? You guys, if you're watching right now, that means you're a super fan making it this far into the video. So that means I really, really care about your opinion. More than just the watch for a minute, click off viewer kind of people, you know? So, hey, let me know Let me know what your thoughts are. Let's confuse the people who didn't watch this far. Say, type in banana too in your comment. You know, if you're going to leave a comment, say banana. They're about to be like, what's a banana? That's the secret. You watched the whole thing, they didn't. The new Soviet mechanized army is coming out. Damn, 7 million troops. That's a fat army. We are, this is a serious red army right here. Damn, these are almost not IRL casualties. IRL casualties were insane, but they're pretty damn high. Oh, they're starting to get to Germany. They're starting to get to Germany. Once winter goes away, we're just going straight to Germany. Screw our own territory. Oh, no, the allies are beating me to... Uh, no, I've done so much work. Well, let's just cap Germany, guys. I'm going to die if I have to stay alive any longer. I'm gonna launch my offensives now. Oh, the Allies didn't do nothing. I'm fighting Germany and then they just show up in D-Day instantly because the German front probably is empty. Come on, let's at least take Leningrad. That'd be cool, right? Can we take Leningrad at least? Leningrad, let's get to Leningrad, comrades. Just, just send Leningrad at all cost. What the heck are those German divisions doing? Weird ass divisions, that's what I'm saying. These borders are crazy. What's going on here, bro? Calm down. This random German division is going nuts. All right. Take him down, boys. Oh, um, I accidentally did border gore here, guys. Uh, Oh, there we have it. I saved that game. I'm. <laughs> We're not playing the Allies. I just spent four hours on this. So, I mean, only if this video got literally 400,000 views, I would actually play the Allies. So, I'll keep this save game around. 400,000 views, tons of likes, I would do it. But yeah, I'm not torturing myself later, guys. Thank you so much for watching and getting here.